crazy. <laughs> this is sick. This is sick. Wow. How's it going? How's it going? I'm excited for sure. Thanks for believing in me, no, guys. You got an iPad? Yeah, I got an iPad. I'm gonna I'm gonna start like on the playbook and stuff like that. So yeah. Right. You got yeah, this is Greg Rousseau, Bill's first round pick. It literally looks like Greg Rousseau has been photoshopped from a different picture. Doesn't it? Out of scale. I mean, seriously. Oh, your bear just sent me that. You stand over a box. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. His hand is essentially blocking out the entire skull of one Brandon Bean. It's startling. <laughs> this guy's arm length and then uh, 11 and 8th hand, you just, you don't come across those very much. What is your nickname? Groot. People, people in my eyes used to call me Groot. Maybe because my high top fade, I kind of resemble him a little bit. And because I'm like a tall dude and Groot has like super long arms and stuff and long legs. And he's like a tree. <laughs> he looks like somebody from another planet. It is absolutely an unbelievable photograph. I'm glad he's playing for us and Sean and I are, are not playing for us. The further you go, probably the more it hurts because you know you're that close. I mean, uh, this was a unique year. All the COVID protocols that our players, these guys were very selfless. I know we came up short, but they're all, you know, ready to unpack what happened and get started, you know, for 2021. The first thing you gotta think is, what did you do well this past season? What, what went right for us? You wanna keep your strength strong and then the inverse, what kept you from advancing to the Super Bowl or, or winning the Super Bowl? You know, your last game, if, if you make a run into the playoffs, it tells you. In that game, we didn't get Mahomes down enough. We, we didn't quite pressure the quarterback enough. And offensively, you know, in the red zone, we, we probably left some points out there. So we wanted to bring back what we had and, and try and find ways to, to make it better. And, you know, we re-signed Micah. Levi comes back and Daryl Williams, Matt Milano, John Feliciano, and then we brought in Emmanuel Sanders. All right, Emmanuel, official Buffalo. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you, brother. Welcome to Thank Buffalo. We've been trying to get you for a couple of years. Yeah, man, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I'm glad we finally got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just wait a few man. We'll see you around. Hey. All right. Joe Shane's our assistant GM. It's up to him to pass the message to our scouts of what we're looking for, whether it's pro, whether it's college. So Joe crosses a lot of different departments beyond just the scouting, but that's probably his number one acumen and, and strength that he brings to our club. You know, we ask our guys to support the run a lot, and this guy's physical and he's reliable. Oh, shoot, I'd love to add a guy like this. He's, he's a good kid, super productive, good level of competition, played in big games. He opted out, so. I mean, what are your what are your thoughts on these opt-out guys? Uh, I mean, I don't really hold it against them too much. This year's been different than any other that I think we've been involved with. You know, to not be able to go into the school and, you know, talk to all the people like we're used to. Oh, no question. I think we definitely got a lot, a lot more coverage than uh, we would have expected, you know, in August when we didn't even know if there was a season. But compared to other teams, too, I think our guys hit the road hard, went to a lot of games and pro days. I don't care how many years I've been scouting, every time I pull on campus and see a stadium, a little fanboy comes out to me. Scout players and work in football for a living doesn't get much better than that. You know, there's a lot of different things you can, you can get from a pro day. There's really no substitute for seeing these guys live. Pretty good. That's a little shuffle on that one. You know, we go to a pro day, we do have our Bills formula. We're a little athlete. You know, we want to make sure that a guy is competing from start to finish through his drill work. Nice. You know, if he messes up a drill and it gets corrected, does he get it corrected in one shot or is it taken him multiple times? And then also, you, you kind of get to see what, what kind of physical condition these guys are in. There we go. For me, it's a chance to do something I love, but you also have an impact on, on young men's lives. You know, we're, we're kind of like the gatekeeper to their dreams. For us to be able to evaluate them, get to know them, and in some instances have a chance to draft them, you know, it's kind of a win-win. A 
year ago, you know, a lot of people put a lot of work into draft in my basement, but there's no substitute for being in this draft room. It's like home sweet home. You're, you're more confident, you're more comfortable, and it was great to have the scouts back in here and not going from Zoom to Zoom. To... It's better than in my basement. The commissioner is now at the podium. And we'll start a football draft here in a minute. Welcome, Welcome to, to the 2021 NFL Draft. The draft is now officially open. Well, we're not till 30, so we don't have a clue. Like, I mean, maybe once we get into the 20s, if a couple of your guys are still there and you know teams maybe in front of us or something, I can touch base with you. And we can talk about it when we get closer to our pick. <laughs> it's still tough. You have to be patient, which is something I'm still working on. Uh, it's not my greatest strength, but it's good to have guys uh, in the room with me to keep me calm. And, and you just, you see good players on the board and, and you want to go after them. He's there at three, we take him. How you doing, buddy? You guys interested in moving back for a late one? Yeah, that'd be too much. Thanks. All right. Just be patient. It's like golf. You you can't control what your partner's doing. You may be playing against them, but you, you can't yell at them during their backswing or anything like that. But we like the depth of the draft, especially the first you know three or four rounds. And we felt like some players would fit what we need and also be the kind of guys that we'd be excited to pick. We're just trying to get some size. Yeah, he's just a young ball player, but he went through the wings. You know, Greg was one of the ones that we said would have a chance to be there. This kid, I mean, he just, I think he's got a very high ceiling. He's tall, he's long, he rush a passer. You tell he's a good kid, like, he's going to make the most of his opportunity at the next level, I think. It's going to be weird this year picking at 30. You know, obviously we didn't have a first round pick last year, but just 30, there's just so much uncertainty on who's going to be there. We felt that Greg could go anywhere from 20 to 32, and so we thought it would be close. New Orleans has submitted their pick. The New Orleans Saints select Peyton Turner. Yes. Peyton Turner, oh, OK. All right. Green Bay has submitted their pick. Buffalo is now on the clock. The Green Bay Packers select Eric Stokes. Eric Stokes, OK. Let's see. With the 30th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select. Hey, this is Greg. Hey, Greg, it's Mike Zabel with the Buffalo Bills, man. How you feeling? Hey, well, you're going to be a Bill, man. Congrats, my man. Gregory Rousseau, defensive end, Miami. Greg, how you doing? Congrats. We're excited to get you. You're going to love it up here. Greg, how you doing, buddy? Fired up for you and your family, man. This is Terry Pagola, the owner. How you doing? Hey, sounds like you're pretty happy, huh? You can let go of the chandelier now if you want to. Whatever you got to do to repair this thing, that could start with You got tackled by your brother? Okay, don't get hurt. <laughs> Hey, just want to say welcome to Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna well, we're gonna come pick you up and uh, make sure we we see you tomorrow. So. I'm happy for this kid. This kid opted out this year. His mom was a nurse and dealt with dealt with COVID. It was very real to Gregory Rousseau. Tell me about 2020. Yeah, well, I opted out due to like my mom being a COVID nurse and really just the concerns with the long lasting effects at the time. I talked about it with my coaches, my teammates and my family and I just, we figured out that it was in my best interest to opt out, but that was, it was a real tough decision. The circumstances of a year ago, I, I don't hold any decision that you made. That, that nobody knew what was going to happen. It was crazy. And so you took advantage of that time to go and try to pursue some things on your own just to kind of stay ready. If we draft you, when we draft you, because you are an impressive young man, yeah. what are we getting at the Buffalo Bills? You're getting a young leader for sure, somebody who's going to come in and push the older guys, but also come in, learn, and prove that he's there for a reason. So really just somebody, I say most importantly, who, who just wants to be great and who's not going to give up till he is. I would love to work with you. I think yeah. this, this is as good of an interview as I've done. 
in, in several years. Eric meshed very well with him came to see me afterwards, you know, even texted me the night before the draft about what an A-plus young man that Rousseau is and would love to get him. And of course, I reassured him, uh, we'll have to see how it falls, but uh, we see it the same way. And, and fortunately for the Bills, he was there at 30. Hopefully in two or three weeks or whatever it is, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be making a call and you and I will be confirming that we're going to be working together. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity, man. And like, and like I said, I mean, getting to play, play for you and being Buffalo be a blessing. It'll be huge. Awesome. Getting that call from Buffalo, when that had my heart drop, like that was the best feeling ever. I mean, you know, it's all huge blessings and I'm so glad to be a part of Bill's Mafia now. I got a question for him. Go ahead. Uh, you ask him if he's prepared for his first round rookie dinner or not. Here. Harrison wants to know if you're prepared to buy the entire defensive line dinner. Is that is that the yeah? yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, yeah. Thanks, bro. Hey, Harry, good time again. Text me when if you need something, man. Okay, sure, man. Thank you, fam. Just the same as we did night one, we talked about scenarios, who we thought would be in that conversation. Look at where you're at and start looking at how these guys may fall off the next day. We did not think that, you know, Carlos would be there. We had a little higher grade on Carlos and thought he may go with some of the other guys early. Hey, uh, you guys want to move up or you want to stay? Oh, yeah, I think we are going to move back. So if you're interested, just let me know. At that point, the odds of him being there, we didn't think were very high. If he wasn't there, we were willing to go back with that NFC club and felt like we'd still get a player we were excited about. What's up, buddy? Yeah, if, as long as our guy's not there, we'll send him price same as you guys if your guy's there. Well, our guy is still on the board, so it's hard for, it's hard to, we can't lock it in. We can't lock it in, because if this guy's still there. All right, so if it's, Basham's there, we're, turning, we're taking him. Yeah, just tell him, see who this is. Hey. Okay, yep, we'll hang, we'll see. New Orleans has submitted their pick. All right, New Orleans. Buffalo is now on the clock. Um, let's see. The New Orleans Saints select Pete Werner. Line Pete, Pete Werner. Werner. Yeah. Okay. Back to Ohio State. That right. wasn't our guy, so our guy's there, so we're going to take our pick. Sorry about that. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're really doing it. This is crazy. This is crazy. Good. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's Carlos there. You know, I was sitting there, it was just me. I was sitting there my head in my hands. I looked over my phone ringing. I picked the phone up, it says Buffalo Bill. You know, I started breaking down. Hey, Carlos, you're gonna be a Buffalo Bill, man. Yes, Carlos, how you doing? James, Listen, you gotta come up here and uh, and compete. Nothing's gonna be given to you. You got me? Yes, sir, definitely. Well, listen, you worked hard for it. Congratulations, man. Yes, thank you. It's on. Yeah. Yes. With the 61st pick, the Buffalo Bills select Carlos Basham Jr. Everybody in there just, just as happy as I am, just as excited as I am, you know, for that moment right there, so not there for you. That's rough. All right. I feel good about that. I mean, it's crazy. You can't have enough of them, man. That's crazy. All right, let's hope one of those tackles are there. Spencer's uh, raw, or he athletically tested well. You know, his school opted out this year, so he just, he trained with Joe Staley. <laughs> Spencer is a, is a guy, again, we talk about a uh, high ceiling. We just see him competing as a swing tackle and got top back up year one, and the thing we liked about Spencer was he chose to go compete in the senior bowl. We thought that that showed his competitiveness, his, his want to show that I've worked on my game this year and I want to show you that even though I played at a small school, I can compete. Let me be the first one to congratulate you. You are going to the Senior Bowl. Oh, here's your official hat. And here's your invitation letter. You really are. Senior Bowl bound. With the 93rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Spencer Brown.
Spencer, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. You ready to come to Buffalo? Yes, sir. I'm pumped. All right, good. I heard your great things about you. Spencer, Terry Pagula here. How are we doing? How you doing? Where are you at? Uh, I'm back home in the Atlantic, so. How's the weather out there? Uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's better now. <laughs> hey, you just got drafted. Uh, yes, sir. I appreciate enjoy it. Enjoy it. We will, for sure. Here we go! Bills! I'm honored to be a part of the team. and uh, I play the game like a little kid, kind of. Like I'm out there to have fun. Um, I bring a lot of energy, I like to interact with fans, be one with them, and then go out there and perform and, and bring energy and love the game and interact. So I'm looking forward to that. Kim uh, baked her own goodies. I'm not sure many owners get up early, make their own desserts. Oh my God, I'm about to get up. <laughs> Every day was something new, and, and I think Joe had enough for him, his wife, and then some. What are you doing over there? We're trying to work here, and you're like, you're like a candy store right yeah, now. Right? Candy kitchen. This and the coffee is so good. Sean, are you eating ice cream? Yeah. You. No. Oh. And then Sean's eating like yogurt, probiotics, and all that stuff. The guy, I'm just trying to get him to live like two days a year. <laughs> Kim, are you announcing all our picks today? Not all of them. The first one of the fifth round. Baltimore has submitted their pick. Buffalo is now on the clock. We're on the clock. So. They're six eight guy. Oh, the biggest guy on the board. <laughs> Defensive tackle. Showtime. Be confident. All right, Benji, can we bring the Kiwi Chips in three, segment? I'm four, about to bring a special guest out to talk a little bit more about women's impact on the game of football, but we're going to go to a pick. Here we go. Uh, we've got ownership here of the Bills. Making the pick. Three, two. Hey, Bills Mafia, Kim Pagula here. I'm here with the 161st pick of the 2021 NFL Draft. The Buffalo Bills select Tommy Doyle. Tackle, Miami of Ohio. Thank you, Buffalo. I didn't screw it. We lost him. Good job. Thanks for laughing. You didn't mess up Tommy? Good job, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, we've built the depth of, of the roster and it's a harder roster to make than it was two years ago or three years ago, and that's that's what we want every year going forward. And so we want the guys that don't win starting jobs to at least push our starters to reach higher levels, and that'll make us a better club going forward. For me, it's just, I just want to come in and be able to contribute. You know, like they say, you know, they need to win two more games, and I feel like for me, I can definitely come in and help them win the two more games. And come in here and earn the respect of guys and just compete and do my job and. I'm not going to be anything over the top, but I'm looking forward to help the team out in any way I possibly can. Oh, hey. Hey, nice to, you. You. nice to meet you. Welcome to Buffalo. Thank you. Yeah. For sure. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for believing in me. Yeah, no, absolutely. Just a dream come true, you know, just to be here. And I'm, I'm humble, hungry. I'm just ready to work. You know, I'm ready to meet my teammates, you know, learn from the coaches, soak everything up from the older guys, the veterans, and take it day by day and just keep on getting better. You know, I think at times people seem to feel like we were not drafting for this year. We were definitely drafting for this year. And we do think there are pieces in this draft that could and, and we expect to contribute in 2021.